Hello everyone, I'm Darlene. Thank you for clicking on my video today. And I will start your reading in just a moment. Let me get my business out of the way. Thank you for being here. I value your time very, very much. We're all busy people. Also, um, I have other readings on my playlist. I do a lot of Scorpio readings and Spring Flame readings. So if that interests you, please check those out. And lastly, when I get to a thousand subscribers, I will be going live and you can ask me questions. So uh, if you're interested in that, subscribe and of course hit that notification bell. Now I will say a real quick caveat to that. Um, any good medium will tell you they cannot just voila and pull through who you want to hear from. So I'm not in charge of who comes through. So if you're expecting me to connect with somebody very specific, Sometimes that can happen, but it's not something um, I normally do on demand. So, just a quick FYI there. And that's also for anyone who is interested in a private reading. I get asked that a lot because there's always someone specific that people want to hear from. So, anyway, enough about that. <clears throat> Today, I have, I'm fighting the incense over here. Forgive me. I'm like going right up my nose. Today, I have a young man coming. A young man can't really tell his age you know it's when they go to the other side <clears throat> they're revitalized into uh, when they were healthy and young younger or anyway but I think this <clears throat> this was a young man youngish man yes he died in prison in fact he was murdered in prison but it was not necessarily public or was not necessarily what was on the death certificate. There may have been questions about this. It was one of those situations where he, um, he had an accident. He fell on the crack in the sidewalk. He fell down a flight of stairs. I, I don't know, but something like that. And basically he was beaten up pretty bad and then died from um, injuries subsequent to that. So he's coming through today to talk to his father and he showed me sort of his history, his timeline to so that you will know this is your your son, your relative. It's, it's not the father, it could be someone else that finds this video and shares it with him. That's often how spirit works. So if this is not your exact story that you think it sounds familiar, please share it with the person that you think it may belong to. So this young man is showing me that he was by nature on the quiet side, but he got, he had a friend that got him into drugs and when he would use these drugs, and I don't know specifically what drug it was, he's not showing me that, but when he would do that, he would just kind of have a completely different personality. He would get more violent. He would do crazy things and things he would not by nature do. And he's showing me also that he apparently got into, he, he kind of got progressively, the, the crimes he was committing got progressively worse over time. And He's also showing me that he was arrested. I don't know if this has something to do with the car or I'm not sure which came first, but at one point he was arrested, went to jail, served his time, got back out, got out rather, excuse me, got out, was released. And he's saying maybe, was it 18 months, but some, some not a long period of time. He ended up committing another crime, getting caught, and one of those had to do something to do with a car. I don't know if he stole a car, or if he got caught breaking into a car. I, I don't. I don't know um, what what the exact circumstances were, but whichever one of those, anyway. And then he ends up back in jail, and got back on drugs and the whole thing. But he's telling me, you, the father, that through the first 
crime and when he got up and all of that, you never stop believing in him. You, he, he's, he's saying, but after the second incident, you stopped coming to visit him. I think you wrote him a few letters, perhaps, or maybe that was earlier on, but it feels like you, you stayed in touch to some degree, but he knew there was, there was a real line in the dirt when he got, when he got into trouble the second time and had to go back. And so he's saying, on the outside, and at the time, he thought that you had given up on him. At the time, this is, was his interpretation. He's saying, but now that he's on the other side, now he knows that you never did, that you never gave up on him, that you kept him in, his, in your heart, Um, I don't know how to say this. You kept him in your heart, but on some level you knew that there was nothing you could do, that there was just probably no coming back for this young man. After he passed away, Again, he died in prison or in, in the hospital portion, but, but basically in prison. They sent you his belongings. In these belongings, there was, and they're show, he's showing you what you've kept. You've kept something of his that he sees you touching and looking at. And it looks like a shirt, and there's a picture, a small photograph with two men in it, and at first I thought it was a picture of him and you, that would be logical, right? So if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, it could be that. But then he told me this story about the friend, so immediately, you know, maybe it was, I feel more like it was him and this friend that got him into trouble. And when you saw that, you felt, It's like you, you naturally had anger and resentment because you felt like if, if this, young, this other young man had not influenced your son, his life would not have had those consequences and ended up like they did. So he's, he's wanting to correct that. He's saying, yes, it could have turned out differently. Yes, it could have. But ultimately, what you didn't know was he owed a karmic debt to this other young man. There was some kind of karmic entanglement or soul contract that he had with this other young man. And it wasn't supposed to turn out the way that it did, but nevertheless, in the process of him trying to honor that soul contract, things took a turn and went the direction that they did. So I, I know that's probably hard news if you're the parent to hear, but we do have soul contracts when we come in here. We have soul contracts with all the, the, you know, our friends and our family members. and um, you, One could argue all kindness of relationships are soul contracts, but particularly those closest to us. And, so it, it's just one of those very sad stories. Now I wanted to ask if there's anything else he wanted to say. Just that he loves you, Pops, and he knows now, again, he wants to reiterate, he can see now that you, you never gave up on him in your heart. You never gave up. And he, he's acknowledging that. Because, of course, they can see you now. He can see you now. He knows what's in your heart. He can see you when you pick up that shirt or that photo and look back and think about it. And apparently he's seeing that you do that or have done it. I'm just listening now to see if there's anything else.
Well, he's he's just reiterating also that try not to blame this young man and his family. You may know still have contact with this other young man's family or know about them. It feels like that more, like maybe they live in the same neighborhood or something. You may know about them, and it feels like you still hear things about them or somehow know what's going on with them to some degree, and he's saying, please don't. You know, it's easy to blame, like he's, he's saying, you have a tendency to blame this other kid's parents, or, you know, he's saying, don't do that. This would have, this situation was going to play out because of the choices that young man made. It, it was not his parents. It was choices the young man made, and therefore, your son got pulled into that situation. Okay, anything else? He's just, he, he's so very well-mannered. I, I know that's a strange thing to say when you're doing a reading for like this, but he, I usually get a, a, a thank you from the spirit on the other side. That this one young man went, thank you, ma'am. I really appreciate you doing that to me. And, you know, very polite and not, not what you would think hearing the story. Again, I think this goes back to who he he was innately in his person before the drugs took over. Anything else? Okay, thank you. He's pulling his energy back. Thank you all so much for being here. That's all I have for you today, and I hope you will tune back in. Again, if, if you're looking to hear from a loved one, please check out my other videos on this playlist. Um, I, I never know who I'm bringing through, but there could be someone there that uh, you're hoping to hear from. And please tune in. I try to release these videos every Saturday. I'm trying to be consistent, trying to be consistent about that. So please check back in. I may be reading for you or your loved one again soon. Thank you all for being here, and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.